It's the Postal Service to the rescue after one postal worker's actions possibly saves a man's life. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Chris Flanagan. That postal worker noticed something that just didn't seem right. Turns out he was right. News Channel 5's Stephanie Ramirez has the exclusive tonight and joins us live with the story. Steph. And Chris, nobody knows how many days an elderly man spent inside of his home unconscious, but a neighbor and an anonymous emailer both tell us had it not been uh, for the efforts of a mailman, that elderly man may have died. You look out for others and you expect others to look out for you. It's the code this postal worker of about five years now has stuck to on Cleveland's east side. Jason Jones says being aware of your surroundings is an essential part of his job. But he wasn't expecting to actually save a man's life. When I found out that um, he was actually inside the house, I was I was very shocked. Jones says last Thursday, while on his regular route, he noticed a gentleman he normally delivers to hadn't picked up the mail in a few days, and he hadn't mentioned any plans of going away. One of my number one customers that come and greet me every other day, so uh, I started noticing that um, something must be wrong. Perhaps the biggest clue of something wrong, Jones says, was there were no footprints in the snow that surrounded the 91-year-old's house. And his car hadn't been moved for a while. But instead of just noting this and moving on, Jones says he called for help, not once, but twice. I called the police. Um, they said they would check into it. I came back the next day in the morning. I drove past. I still didn't see any footprints from Mr. Clare. His car still hadn't moved. So uh, I called the police again. What police found, Jones tells us, was Mr. Jack Clare unconscious on the floor of his own home. And there to give Jones a big handshake after we interviewed him today was Clare's next door neighbor, Dwayne Todd, who says 91 year old Clare was also found malnourished and dehydrated. I felt that the postal, postal man needed to be recognized for the job that he did. Because if he wouldn't have uh, notified someone, Mr. Jack would have died. And thanks to Jones's efforts, Claire is now being treated at a rehabilitation facility. Something else interesting, we learned that the Postal Service actually trains their carriers for situations like this, and they've been doing so since 1982. So kudos to Jones for recognizing a problem and acting on it, taking action. On your side in Cleveland, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.